we do we've got a whole family of jackal now this is the most jackal i've seen in a long time so this is really really cool there's four of them in total and these are side striped jackals and they're just off the airstrip at arethusa and it's a really really cool sighting of the four of them so really really happy that they're here now they seem to be cruising around and just generally looking like they're up to no good i don't know where they going or what they're doing but they've been running around here and they gave the impalas a bit of a fright for a little bit so oh and there they go behind the bush but aren't they amazing like i say unfortunately the jackal numbers within this area really took an absolute pounding because we had a, a breakout of rabies and the rabies is very 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 infectious particularly to things like jackals you can see look at how they form these groups together and they're very social, they touch one another and it's spread through the jackal population and the jackal numbers have declined. We used to see a lot more um, also of the other species of jackal, the blackback jackal, and then for some reason their numbers declined and these side stripes then moved in and took over and you see the side stripe now far more than we do the blackbacks. And you can see where they get their name from, they got that white stripe down the side, now this one's got a bit of a funky stripe, it's not the way it should be that white should go all the way through towards the hip area but it goes over the back and onto the other side oh and it's just too much for the day we just got to scratch the shoulders before we carry on moving i like jackals they've got so much character they're such interesting little animals and you can see in the foreground there a little senegal lapwing as well but i wonder where they've come from because i've seen these jackals around every now and then when we were doing the tests with we saw one jackal but I don't know where these young ones have come from and these must have been around for most of the summer but it seems that they've actually been very very well hidden so well done parents you did a very good job at hiding them because I've spent a lot of time on the Arethus airstrip over the last six months and I had have not seen those little puppies at all so they must have been somewhere close by and just being hidden by the parents which is really really amazing so isn't that a very cool sighting? I know it's been quiet for cats on cat a day, but to have four jackals is really very, very special. I haven't seen a jackal, I don't think, since I've been with Safari Live, other than when we were doing the testing. So really, really good to see them. Nice one, Darby. You've done a great job there. Now, I'm going to just try and see. Uh, actually, while we're here, let's have a look at these Senegal lapwings as well. Right. So... The Senegal lapwings are sitting very nicely. Now, these birds are not the most common bird in the Sabi Sands. In fact, the only real place that I've seen good numbers of Senegal lapwings is up here in the north. I have seen them in other parts of the Sabi Sands, but not in the same numbers that we see them up here. For some reason, we see lots of them up here, and they really are quite a pretty bird with that very white chest and then I mean, white breast area and, and rump, and then that gray chest, and then that little white above the beak makes them really very very cool now in the distance I can hear some zebras calling as well seems to be all happening on Arathu's airstrip Dave we should have come here earlier hmm. now for those of you who have just joined us you might be wondering who I'm talking to when I say Dave well Dave is my cameraman and my name is Tristan so very very warm, very warm welcome to those of you that have just joined us and um, like I say we're just coming up to Arathu's airstrip just to have a look around and see what there is out here we had the jackals that were moving around we've got the birds there's some zebras alarm calling well not alarm calling but calling behind us they're probably having a little tussle together so I might just turn around and see if we can't see those zebras they are making quite a racket behind me so But I'm really, but I'm really, really, really very chuffed with our jackals. It's been a long time, and they're such cool little animals. Uh, I wish we could see them more often and spend a lot more time with them. They are s such feisty little things, and they are interesting in what they feed off. And they go after all kinds of things. They scavenge these side striped jackals. From what my experience is with them in this particular part of the of the the world, is that these side striped jackals are not nearly as um, prone to scavenging as the blackback jackals. These guys tend to do a lot more of their own hunting. So they'll hunt small little rodents, um, birds, the eggs of birds. So they do quite a bit of hunting of their own. Now, I just want to see something because I can see a whole bunch of impar. 
Pradeep, jackals are indeed residents. They are always here. This pair of side striped jackals, the first time I saw them here on the Arethusa airstrip was in 2011. And actually we can see them. They're all busy resting. Can you see them there? So they're sitting down now in that little open clearing. There they are. You hear the zebras in the background as well? Now a zebra call is one of my favorite calls because when I was a kid, I used to watch lots of documentaries and spend lots of time in the bush with my grandparents. And I always used to watch these documentaries of lions chasing zebra and that was always the soundtrack that they used on those documentaries. So the sound of the zebra just always reminds me of my youth and times in the bush and excitement. And so when I hear them calling like that, I don't know why, it just is reminds me of good times. But back to the sort of territorialness of the, of the jackals. They are very territorial. They'll chase other jackals away should they come anywhere close and try and kind of oust them. So they do have defined territories. And like I say, these guys have been here for quite a while. What I'm going to try to do, it seems like they've gone to sleep. So I'm going to just try to see if we can maybe not sneak up a little bit.